questions on the chat box. I'll put those questions to the panelists a little later. So let me start this discussion. Uh, I'll start with Sonal. I'll ask her uh, how transformative has been the past few months and what have been some of the initiatives you took to deal with this environment, something that your employees really benefited from? Sure. Sonal. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. And I hope I'm audible. Yeah, you uh, are. And, yeah, and very warm welcome. And I hope everybody is doing safe. Uh, and absolutely keeping healthy in these tough times. Uh, and I must begin by saying it's been a personal journey and a transformation journey for myself uh, and my family, because just to take an example, uh, you know, I have never done so much of housework in my entire life, what I would have done in the last few months. So I think for me, it's been a great realization of a certain learning and I might be talking about that uh, as we go through. A couple of things and, uh, you know, two themes that have stayed with me. One is, uh, you know, I continue to say that uh, we actually are not in the same boat, but we are in the same stop because all our boats are very different right now. Everybody has a very different situation. And to me, that itself defines what pandemic is and what pandemic has done to each one of us. The second thing uh, which I feel very passionate about is surviving to thriving. Because today, you know, it's a human psychology, it's a human behavior, but first of all, we all need to survive, you know, and we have seen individuals, we have seen organizations, uh, and I think everybody is going through their own journey. There is a different evolution of the path of where they are, and hence, it's first very important to survive. And the companies and individuals who survive will thrive. And then who will thrive, will survive. So for me, it's been a journey of surviving to thriving uh, for the last few months. And how has it been uh, in Johnson & Johnson, just to talk about a, a couple of minutes more, is our purpose is really to blend science, heart, and ingenuity to change the trajectory of human humanity and health kind. So I think for us, that's really driven us uh, for all these months. And like our... Uh, Global chairman says, Alex Gorsky says, we are built for time like these. And there have, there have never been an unprecedented times that have taught us on the live, on the go, on what needs to be done. There, you know, and I'll talk a little bit more, Sujit, if I get the chance about what yeah, FMCG sure. industry is going through uh, and where we are, uh, but happy to share it uh, as we go through. But for me, it's been a big learning of who our consumer, our customers, our communities and our employees and the changes in how we have then been able to work through uh, what works best for each one of them in these tough times. So, and I'll share that um, in a couple of minutes once we hear the other panel members. Okay, we'll get back to that later. Varada, uh, your opening remarks, uh, what do you want to touch on? You, you said uh, how touch is even today is so important despite all the technology uh, and how do you ensure touch through technology in some sense? Uh, you want to talk about that can you hear varda no oh, varda, sorry. Uh, I, was, I, I was on oh, the yeah. mute <laughs> okay am i audible now yeah yeah you are okay all right uh, thanks times uh, i just want to thank them for hosting this uh, uh, lovely panel conversation that too with the uh, illustrious members um, we'll make sure this uh, panel discussion is quite fruitful and productive and relevant. Right, to your question, uh, Sujit, um, uh, I strongly believe uh, touch and technologies are uh, two sides of the same coin. Uh, though in the virtual uh, working, we emphasize a lot of uh, uh, use of technology, but uh, we should look in this lens how can we leverage technology to enhance uh, the touch and not replacing the touch right so being said that i just want to give a little more of a context uh, what has really changed now with uh, with this COVID coming in uh, um, the, the the complete paradigm has been shifted like uh, there are uh, uh, for generation that we have not heard the words like social distancing, that to the place like India, where uh, we always believe uh, yeah, we are a social animal, so we want to kind of uh, build relation, be with people, and now uh, uh, to kind of uh, have a livelihood, we just say have distance. 
uh, and uh, today uh, the negative has become a positive word. We want to kind of be negative to be positive, right? And uh, lockdown and all of this, what really uh, create just a step back, uh, look from an employee uh, angle. Um, with this both life and livelihood getting impacted, uh, there are news around the world where people have been uh, furloughed, sabbatical, and there are organizations talking about right sizing, right? Uh, all of this can actually uh, have an impact at employee at a psychological level. Uh, it can create an anxiety. Uh, uh, they can be demotivated with all of this social distancing. Uh, loneliness can hit them. But what is important is uh, it is given a big question mark on fear of future, right? Uh, and uh, if if this this continues, I think. Uh, uh, people might um, get into, I have already been hearing like there are a lot of mild to moderate anxiety cases which have been reported in the hospitals, right? And therefore, it's important uh, responsibility of the organization uh, to make sure to bring back uh, the uh, talent uh, to their complete well-being because physical well-being is core of anybody's, uh, uh, I would just say, holistic look. If physical, uh, if, if psychological well-being is compromised, uh, then how much ever of technology, communication, leadership you really put, uh, you will not kind of get uh, the kind of productivity outcome and engagement with an individual. So it's responsibility of the organization to uh, uh, focus at uh, at a well-being. And uh, later, maybe if given an opportunity, I just want to talk a little more on that. And also uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, learn master in the new normal. Okay. Okay. We'll discuss more of that uh, after Atma makes his opening remarks. I mean, yeah, that's an interesting thing. A lot of people talking about the kind of mental challenges now increasingly people are facing in this environment. Uh, but before that, Atma, go ahead. Your opening remarks. Thank you so much, Sujit. Uh, I think. Coming after Sonal and Varda, I mean, I picked up two points there. Sonal was talking about surviving, very, very important, critical. And Varda picked up touch and technology. Yes, I mean, touch and technology are always hand in hand. If I talk specifically about OYO, I think Varda also mentioned that, you know, we are talking a lot about restructuring and furlough and layoff during the pandemic times. But pandemic has hit India, I would say, somewhere in the month of March. And we did a restructuring at OYO, you know, entire change of leadership and everything January. And from January onwards, everything was in place that, you know, we'll focus more on the customer, we'll focus more on the property partners, you know. We will have a more holistic growth in the approach across all the countries. And right before the pandemic, uh, last, I would say, one and a half years or two years, probably, OYO has expanded almost in 30 plus countries. And then we have the pandemic. So the surviving uh, instinct or not only for the employees but for the organization also of course time have not been really great for the leadership for the investors we have hearing and reading a lot about what is happening with the soft bank which has never happened in last 20 25 odd years and interestingly i am have been handling the digital transformation piece so typically and technically transformation happens in an organization when it thrives a lot it is generating lots of money and when you are hit by this pandemic you tend to freeze or stop all the transformation work you have been doing because again, quoting Sonal here, we go back to the survival mode. Now the use of technology, which was more about, you know, a next level of employee experience comes back to the employee engagement. Like we are taking a step back here because of the pandemic. Now we are talking more about, and this is happening after a very long time. It should have started very, I mean, few months back, we, the Varda has mentioned, mentioned out about the mental health. Similarly, we haven't been talking about the burnout for a very long time. Schedules have been recycled for people across organizations, across units. And I have lots of friends in consulting. Now you see when businesses are not, not doing good at all, how the life of a consultant becomes. Because consultants totally survive and thrive in industries. So if I talk about the use of technology a bit here, which probably I will take up in the next question, um, right after Sonal and Varda. What I would uh, say probably the last few lines is that the only thing which OYO is focusing right now, 
and it has been doing wonderfully that how do it come back to the pre covid times we talk about like europe and uh, china and few countries in south asia the business is pretty much back to normal but india in india once the curve starts to starts to flatten only then you know we would be talking about uh, bookings which are back to pre covid so yes there are nut and shell, there are i mean uses of technology in nut and shell here and there and hiring of course is something which is now happening in the europe part and whatever we have rolled out prior to the technology about prior to the pandemic those you know technology roll out have been very very beneficial for us and of course i will be talking about some of these points in next few uh, conversations okay okay survival that's uh, both of you uh, both atma and uh, sonal mentioned that uh, so sonal I, uh, you said you will talk about some of the specific things that johnson and johnson is doing where within the organization the kind of things that you did uh, which uh, you think really impacted employees uh, in, yeah. in this environment sure so uh, let me take a little bit of a step back to first um, sort of qualify who we are and what has been the marketplace for us right so jnj is uh, one of the largest uh, broad based healthcare organization across the world uh, and we have three sectors uh, primarily one is consumer health one is medical and one is pharmaceutical uh, section now 